<coughs> you morning people, really, it's just amazing, you beautiful people. Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I think I die a little bit every night. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry for all the bodily noises. But that's me in the morning, okay? So when you hear a little bit of, like, nasaliness from my videos, which I, I would imagine will be a lot of the time because I record in the morning, it's because I'm waking up, and it's really early in the morning. And uh, I'm going to have to mute all of you guys. I'm so sorry, but uh, today we are playing Strike Zone 24-7 with this beautiful, beautiful MTAR. And... Not gonna lie, I hate the Emtar. Yeah, I hate the Emtar. I think it's, I think it is my least favorite submachine gun. Now that is not because That is not because I think it's a bad submachine gun. Securing Bravo. IMS ready for deployment. Bravo We're in the lead. I just think that it has a little bit too much recoil. Securing C. But as of right now, we're doing pretty good. IMS has gotten us a couple kills. See if we can't get this guy. Oh, we did. Beautiful. So now we're two away from a maniac. Let's come right here. This is a... Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. This is a user-suggested... Ah, uh, I was out of ammo anyway. I was out of ammo anyway. This is a user-suggested class setup. In fact, I'll pick up this other MTAR. We are lagging out right here. This is because there's only like 200 people. In this game mode. But that's all right. We got quick draw. On the go, ready up on this beautiful class. This is actually from Twitter. I was suggested, you beautiful people suggested two guns this time, which is fantastic. Um, wait for this guy right here. Uh, try to go in this B. Crap. Get turned on. Dang it. Let's get up here. Take cover. Dang it. IMS ready for deployment. Bravo secure. That was around the corner, man. That was so far around the corner. That's so terrible. But, uh... Unfortunately, that is what we're going at now, and it's just what we're gonna have to do. Uh, but yeah, this is actually one of my favorite class setups with the MTAR. This whole quick draw, ready up deal. It's a very, very reactive class. Um, I don't have focus on. I think he saw me through the um, oracle. Yeah, he did right there. It's that's all right. That's what happens with the oracle. Uh, again, one of those rebalancing things I forgot to touch on in my uh, fixing Call of Duty Ghost video. Uh, the oracle and the support streaks. I would change a little bit. I would definitely change. Without a doubt, and I don't have focus on this class either, so when my aim is bad, that's what happens. It really, really punishes me. Um, and that's my hipfire, that guy. 
stutter stepping across the whole way, but that's what we gotta deal with. Where did this guy go? I gotta be careful over here, cause they are always going to be ready for me when they when I come across this corner. Man, dude, I'm lagging like none other. There we go. But yeah, the MTAR, I just think it has too much recoil for me. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, you guys can see, you guys can see. Even even through this lag, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying ever so hard. This honey badger, man, it's been so long since I've used the honey badger. I kind of got tunnel vision right now, which is bad. Enemy has C. Holy crap. That's a bad, bad uh, connection right there. It's good accuracy right there. Uh, it's just terrible. I'm so sorry. I, You know what? After this, guys, after this, I think I'm going back to the uh, to the Xbox 360 just because it has way better connections a lot more people than this and uh just so that this doesn't happen anymore cuz look I had I guess I guess I was blood red but uh look and see how much I'm jumping across the screen there I guess you couldn't really tell but there we go we are dominating though we're still doing good we're still doing fine 23 and 8 it's fantastic for for a much worse connection. Oh wow, that's terrible. It's so terrible. It's so terrible. But we almost got a maniac and that stuff. So I don't want to be here. You see, the thing with domination is that people have uh, forgotten how to play domination. They have got in this very, very capture heavy, we need to capture everything all the time mindset where that is not at all the case. Wow. Wow. That's, that's what happens in Advanced Warfare. Um, you see how I just got so many shots on him and he just melted me. That happens when you got a bad connection. That rarely ever happens in this game, and you can see it takes this bad of a connection to get that once. See? And, uh, it just it happens every single game on Advanced Warfare, and, uh, it's just not an enjoyable experience. So, either we're gonna have to, dare I say, play Advanced Warfare, or go to the 360. And believe you me, I will try everything in my power to play the 360 version more consistently than playing that atrocity that is Advanced Warfare. Hey yo. Scoot by here, get this baby. But yeah, as far as like the ghost class that I'm specifically using right now, really, really great. Uh, if you are, Friendly if you have a lot of good accuracy, I never do that. What I was just doing, I was just mentally away from you guys right there. Don't ever do that. I was liking yes, 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 but that was a bad decision, bad spawn right there. Um, don't ever go there. You were in that losing gunfight if you go right there. And right here is not too bad of a sight line. Follow your teammates in, just like so. Back out because they're both noobs. And get out of there. Get out of there. That That is a losing gunfight. Enemy SATCOM spotted. But that right there, you're gonna win those gunfights. And and before the game, before they uh, buffed the MTAR, 
I was honestly a fan of it because it was so reactive and it was really good at that mid-range, which Call of Duty Ghosts a lot is, but you still get beasted by that K7, by the Bison, uh, so it's it's a great mid-range weapon. You're still going to get outclassed by assault rifles, so I think it's a good weapon. It's just not my favorite submachine gun because it doesn't exactly know what it is, let's say that. 28 and 12, 2KD on probably the laggiest game of Call of Duty Ghosts I've ever played in my entire uh, career of Call of Duty Ghosts still. Still better than Advanced Warfare, so uh, uh, unfortunately that's not the live commentary you guys deserve, but it's the one you're getting. It's <laughs> it's like the Batman of the live commentaries. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep going to the 360, see if that doesn't help. As you can see, we only got 2,000 players online, so I'll do my best. Suggest a gun this week. Challenge me. Uh, ch give me a ghost gun and give me an advanced warfare gun. Okay, if you made it this far, surely I've earned your like. Uh, I apologize for the laggy game, but it was a good. We had some good quality banter between you and I. So that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a weapon suggestion in the comment section below. And until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always. Have a great day.